All right, uh, next section we're going to talk about is 6.5, which is looking at inequalities within one triangle. Uh, big thing here, um, and most of us have applied this already, but when you have, it's, you don't need to remember these as theorems, but if one side of a triangle is longer than the other side, then the opposite angle is long is um, bigger. So in this case, we have side 8 and a side of 5. So the so the angle that is opposite of 8 means that C has to be bigger than A. And the same thing applies then in angles. Because 50 is the bigger angle, that means that that side must be the bigger side. Oops. So, based on the fact that in this first one, we have all of the sides marked. List the angles in order from smallest to largest. So the smallest angle has to be across from the smallest side. That means angle A has to be the smallest, followed by angle B, and then angle C. You can do the same thing with sides because you're given the angles. First off, we need to find out that 60 is the missing angle. So then the shortest side would be across from the shortest angle. So BC is the smallest side, followed by BA, and then lastly CA. So first off, find the missing angles here. So we have 35, and then we have 60. If we do the far right triangle first, if I list those sides in order from smallest to greatest, the smallest side is going to be CD. And then the next one would be BC. And then the next one would be BD. Now, the trick here is we now need to look at the other triangle. So when I look at this triangle, the smallest side has to be BD. So I'm gonna, it's going to be BD again. Then it's going to be AB. And then it's going to be AD. I can use the fact that BD is the biggest in one and the smallest in the other. Because BD is the biggest in one and the smallest in the other, that allows me to keep the order the way it is. So I'll just write BD once. And again, that's only okay because BD is the biggest in the right triangle and then also the smallest in the next triangle. Next thing we're talking about is the triangle inequality theorem, which states that... The sum of any two sides must be greater than the third. So while you guys won't be necessarily checking this all the time by writing it, you do need to be checking this at least in your head. Does 5 plus 6, is that greater than 7? Is 6 plus 7 greater than 5? And is 5 plus 7 greater than 6? And if all three of those check out, then yes, that can form a triangle. This goes back to like... Uh, early on, we were talking about betweenness because in this case, 1 plus 2 is not greater than 3. It equals 3. So we would actually have a segment of 1. We could have a segment of 2. And that would make the whole segment equal 3. So it is not a triangle. Number 3. I'm just going to check is 2 plus 5 greater than 8. And the answer is no. So it is not a triangle. And you can always check the two small sides, and that would satisfy everything. So does 3 plus 5 equal more than 7? And the answer is yes. We can look at that with uh, inequalities as well. So a triangle has one side of 6 and another side of 15. Describe the possible lengths of the third side. So we have 6... 15 and x and so what we really have to do 
is set up all three of the possibilities in this case because we don't know which one is the biggest or the smallest. So 6 plus x has to be greater than 15. 15 plus x has to be greater than 6. And 15 plus 6 has to be greater than x. So this first one tells us that x has to be greater than 9. This next one tells us that x has to be greater than negative 9. And then this next one tells us that x has to be less than 21. If x is greater than 9, then it is already greater than negative 9. So we don't need that one. So this tells us that x has to be between 9 and 21. And you could solve that with expressions for all of the sides. And again, we would need to set up three inequalities. So x plus 11 and 5x plus 9 must be greater than the third side. Do it again for two different sides. So 2x plus 10 and 5x minus 9 must be greater than its third side of x plus 11. And then the last one would be uh, 2x plus 10 and x plus 11 is greater than 5x minus 9. And we can solve each of these inequalities. The first one, when we solve that, we would get x is greater than 2. The second one, when we solve that one, we would get x is greater than 5 thirds. And then the third one, when we solve that one, we would get x is less than 15. So we have three inequalities then, greater than 2 greater than 5 thirds, and less than 15. Greater than 2 is going to cancel out the greater than 5 thirds, because as long as it's greater than 2, it is already greater than 5 thirds, so I don't need that one. So my answer is greater than 2 and less than 15, or you can write it as a compound inequality of between 2 and 15. And that will be it for 6.5.